Hello, welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries. This weekend we've done pretty good progress and we've managed to get the plates drilled and fitted that hold the gearbox in situ. Now we've been here before, we've had the gearbox in, we've had the chains on to check the length and the tension on the both sides and all that. But we've been here with bits of wood blocking at the gearbox and uh, and everything kind of a bit dreary rigged. Uh, I've been putting this job off for a long time and it was Bob that kind of said, uh, on Saturday morning, come on, you, you better get your finger out and get that sorted. So um, between us, we, we've tackled that this weekend and it's come out, I think, quite well. So everything is bolted up as it will be in the final position. We've got the slots in these plates here so we can adjust the tension on the primary drive belt. And then, of course, we've got the adjustment on the rear wheel to adjust the tension of the chain. We've got quite a, an equal sort of chain tension on both sides um, and we've got a, a reasonable tension on the belt and that belt is as close to the frame as we dare get it so we can alter the height slightly just by tilting um, on these plates here so this um, bolt is, is towards the left hand edge or the rear edge of the slot and this one is slightly further in so so that effectively lowers the gearbox slightly so we, we could tweak that to raise the gearbox and the next job will be to put the tension on the dynastart and turn it over and make sure that the belt doesn't ping off so i shall pop around the other side and give you a look at that but um, that's how it will look when it is finished i think it looks pretty good the last job will be to fit the tank and make sure there's clearance or most likely uh, do some minor adjustment to the tank at the bottom. Um, <laughs> that's me kicking something over in the background. Um, make some adjustment to the tank at the bottom so there's sufficient clearance on this chain ring because this chain is slightly higher than the other side. Although having look, looked at it now, it doesn't look like there's that much in it. So there is clearance just underneath here between there and the bottom of the frame well only a tiny bit and if that's not quite enough we'll raise the gearbox slightly just by tw twisting it so um it's all worked out really quite well there's uh, enough tension on there as i say the next job is to put the dynastart um, back where it needs to be so there's tension on this chain and spin it over and just make sure that everything uh, is running fine and there's no contact between the bottom of this belt and the frame but everything's absolutely bolted up these bolts here are only a quarter bolt between the gearbox and the plates themselves so the gearbox had to be drilled as well as the plates what we plan to do is to open these holes out uh, to something like um, 3 8 and then uh, tap these plates unf uh, unf is a really nice thread compared to metric and then that bolt will just go into the plate and we won't need to have a nut on the back of it so so that's the next job but as we don't have any 3 8 unf bolts at the moment uh, we didn't want to do that operation because then we wouldn't be able to bolt it all together so if you're wondering if these bolts are a bit on the small side yes they are to handle the torque but they will be quite thicker in future we've got one at the top we've got one at the bottom and we'll have one at the front there um, but the one at the front isn't isn't in because there's no room for a nut on the back when we've when we've drilled and tapped the plate um, it will be no problem at all um, i hope that's kind of apparent but if you think about it a bit you'll probably understand what what i mean so there we go next job as i say is to turn it round uh, with with this in place and refit the tank and check cl chain clearance and then uh, i've been having a look at the wiring where does the electrics box wants to live where we're going to route the cables to get to the coils uh, where we're going to take the feed from the dynastart to charge the battery um, because it's it's getting to the point where apart from wiring and that decompressor we're, we're pretty much on the verge of starting the bike so um yeah the, the spark sparking plug arrangement and ignition needs to be considered quite rapidly now and that's probably going to be my focus going forward so that's where we're at uh, that's a quick update for you as usual thank you for watching and more updates will follow